everyone. Welcome to Saturday Morning Yoga with me, Jamie. It's time to gather everyone there together. Your mums, your dads, your brothers, your sisters, your grannies, your grandpas, maybe even the pets, the dogs, the cats, the goldfish. Don't forget anyone and enjoy your yoga, your family yoga together. Now today we have a movie meets yoga special. It's the epic movie, The Force Awakens, Star Wars. We are off to Jakku to meet Rey, BB-8 and to stop that galactic empire from once again destroying everything. My word, they never stop, do they? May the force be with you. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way, and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs, and bringing our hands together at our hearts, and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin, and today we've got a special adventure. We're doing Star Wars The Force Awakens, Episode 7. That's why I've got my Rey hair. Now our story begins 30 years after the last remaining Jedi, Luke Skywalker, has disappeared. He's gone into hiding. Let's come into our hiding pose. Coming onto your knees, everyone, and tuck yourself up into a tiny little hiding ball. Shh, no one will find you here. Shh. Now the First Order has risen from the evil Galactic Empire, slowly lifting your body up, your arms coming forward, all the way up and to your hips. They want to destroy the New Republic, which is protected by the Resistance. Let's blow a raspberry to the sky. Well done, everyone. Stepping one leg forward and tucking your back toe, lifting yourself up. Now, Princess Leia is in charge of the resistance. She's the general, bringing your hand to your head. She is looking everywhere for her twin brother, Luke Skywalker, turning your body to face the other way and bringing your other hand on top now. Where are you, Luke Skywalker? We need your help to defeat the First Order, lowering your hand to your hip. Princess Leia sends her best pilot, Poe, in his X-Wing aeroplane to Jakku to find a map to find Luke, coming into aeroplane pose. Down onto two knees. Take your arms out wide. Drop down onto one hand and wave at the sky. Bring your foot in front of your knee and shoot your back leg out behind you, going all the way to Jakku. Coming onto two knees again, arms out wide, drop down onto the other side and wave at the sky. Bring your foot in front of your knee and shoot your back leg out behind you, lifting up your hip. He finds the map and he hides it in his droid, BB-8, who's like a little roly-poly egg. Sitting on your bottoms, everyone, hug your knees. We're going to be roly-poly eggs, just like BB-8. Now tuck your chin in and after three, let's roll all the way back and all the way up. Ready? One, Two, three, whoop, wee! Wow, well done. Just as they're about to leave, Kylo Ren and the stormtroopers spin into land on Jakku. Coming up to stand, take your feet wide and your arms wide and begin to spin. They're looking for the map as well. They want to find where Luke Skywalker is. Letting yourself come to a stop. Now, Kylo Ren is the son of Han Solo and Princess Leia, but he was turned evil by the leader of the First Order, Snoke. Let's come into pirate pose to be Snoke, standing with your feet together, coming up onto one leg, making your fingers all craggy and your face all scrunchy like you're a bad Snoke. Arrgh. Standing nice and tall. Now, Kylo Ren wishes to be as powerful as his grandpa was, and his grandpa was Darth Vader. Let's do a couple of Darth Vader breaths. Crisscross your fingers, put them underneath your chin and lift up your elbows to breathe all the way in. Here we go. And a big Darth Vader breath to the sky. And again, breathing in. 
Darth Vader breath to the sky. And lowering your arms to the side, he even wears a black mask, just like Darth Vader did. Kylo Ren and the Stormtroopers capture Poe, the pilot, and they tie him in a knot. Let's come into knot pose. Sitting on your bottoms, legs out long. Now bend in one of your legs and stretch your arm up high. Reach it all the way forwards and wrap it around your leg. Now see if you can take your other arm and take it around your back to find your fingers. Now you're in a right knot. They tie him up in a knot even tighter on the other side. Let's switch sides now. Stretching your legs, bring the other leg in. Take your arm up to the sky and reach it all the way forwards. Now take it round your, uh, your leg and wrap your other arm round your back to find your fingers. Oh, help, I'm in a right knot. And so Poe tells Kylo Ren where he's hidden the map. In BB-8, my droid! <laughs> Luckily, BB-8 has escaped like a little roly-poly boat coming into boat pose. Sitting up on your bottoms, everyone. Bring up one foot, bring up two, bring up one hand, bring up no hands. BB-8 zooms along, swerving from side to side. Pew! 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 He's going to miss the laser shots coming from the First Order. But then he finds a friend, stretching your legs out long, sitting up tall. It's a scavenger girl called Ray. Now Ray is very good at fixing things. She goes to old junkyards and finds old telephones, like this one. Let's pick up our telephone, everyone. Ray twiddles all the knobs, twiddling your toes. <laughs> she presses all the buttons. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, 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 beep until it works again. Hello. Yeah, it's Ray here. Yeah, fixed it. Okay, bye. Popping the phone down. Ah, uh, BB-8 knows that all will be okay with Ray. Meanwhile, back at the village, Stormtrooper FN2187 is marching around. Come on, everyone, standing up. Let's march around like Stormtroopers. The problem is, Stormtrooper FN2187, he doesn't want to be a Stormtrooper anymore. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like killing people. So he sets Poe, the pilot, free. Jump your feet wide, take your arms wide, coming into your star pose. Together they escape on a stolen TIE fighter. Let's do windmill pose. Sweeping your hand all the way across to your opposite foot and reach up with your top arm. Pew! Now switch sides, taking your other hand across, reaching up with your top arm. Pew! And let's go a bit faster. Pew! 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 Coming all the way up to stand. Now Poe doesn't think that FN2187 is a very good name. So he decides to call him Finn. But oh no, they crash land, jumping into Crouch. Boing, boing, boing. Finn manages to wiggle out, coming onto your tummies, everyone. Hands onto your shoulders, and then wiggle, 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 all the way up. He looks around everywhere for Poe, but he can't see him. So he tucks his toes, lifts his hips to the sky, walks forwards, and then rolls up to stand and he runs away, quick! Then he meets Ray and BB-8 and the three of them squat down together, bending down and snuggling your arms in between your legs. They need to miss the shots coming from the First Order. All of a sudden they spot an old spacecraft that they can escape on, coming into rocket pose, standing with your feet wide, your arms wide, bring your hands above your head. It's the Millennium Falcon. They jump on board, jumping down to crouch. Ready? One, two, three, boing. And then they count down to blast off. Sitting on your bottoms, take your hands behind you. Feet flat, knees bent, and then we're gonna lift our hips as we count down from five to blast off. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! 
sitting on your bottoms, taking your legs out wide. Take your arms out wide and we begin to spin around and around as the Millennium Falcon lifts off the ground into the stars. They've done it. They've escaped. Woohoo! But up ahead is a tractor beam. Coming into your tractor beam pose. Lying on your backs, everyone. Stretch your arms out wide and lift your legs up to the sky, pointing your toes. The tractor beam is coming from a much bigger spacecraft and it draws the Millennium Falcon in towards it, bringing your knees in towards your chest, everyone, and giving them a nice big hug. <gasps> It's Han Solo and his Wookiee co-pilot, Chewbacca, who's a bit like a giant gorilla. Coming into gorilla pose, standing up, take your feet wide and gently thump your chest as you make your Chewbacca noise. <laughs> Chewbacca and Han Solo used to own the Millennium Falcon, so they jump on board, jumping down to crouch. Here we go. Boing! And together with Ray and Finn and BB-8, they fly together. Standing tall with your feet nice and long and your arms down long. Take them out wide as we soar up into the stars. Woohoo! As they fly, BB-8 decides to show them the map he's been hiding. Coming into your little dog pose. Down onto your hands and your knees. Tuck your toes. Lift your bottom to the sky. Now reach one of your legs up to the sky and then give it a little waggle. Yes, BB-8 shows them the map he's been hiding, but some of it looks to be missing. Hmm. Sitting on your bottoms with your legs crossed, everyone. Now. Han Solo explains that Luke Skywalker went missing because he was sad that one of the Jedis he was training turned evil and joined the dark side. That was Kylo Ren. Now they decide to land on Takadana to find a lovely little wise alien lady called Maz Kanata. Let's come into a squat pose, taking your feet wide, lifting your bottom up and snuggling your arms in between. Now Maz Kanata wears goggles on her eyes. So let's bring our thumbs and fingers together and put our goggles over our eyes. Now Maz Kanata tells them that she can get the map back to Princess Leia and the Resistance. While they're there, lowering your hands down, Ray thinks she can hear voices. Let's give our ears a rub, all the way from the bottoms, rounds to the tops. Hmm, she decides to go exploring to find out where the voices are coming from. Coming up to stand, everyone. Ray tiptoes. She goes down the stairs. She goes into the basement and she goes into a secret room. And there in the secret room, she finds a box. Let's come into box pose. Sitting on your bottoms, everyone. Joining the soles of your feet together, holding onto your feet and bringing your head down towards your heels. Ray opens the box up, lifting up your head. Ooh. And inside, she finds a lightsaber. The lightsaber that used to belong to Luke Skywalker. And before him, Anakin Skywalker. Ray picks the lightsaber up out of the box and holds it up. But as she does, she starts to feel all hot and dizzy, like she's really had a bad dream. Ooh. So she puts it back in the box Ooh. and she closes the lid, lowering your head all the way down. Then she stands up and she runs out into the forest. Quick! Finn decides he'll hold on to that lightsaber. Ray might need it someday. All of a sudden, the First Order attack Takadana with a big kaboom. Coming into a kaboom jump, everyone. Crouching all the way down. After three, we're going to do a big kaboom in the air. Ready? One, two, three, kaboom! Oh no, it's Kylo Ren and the Stormtroopers. They're still looking for BB-8 and the map. But Kylo Ren manages to capture Rey. Coming up onto your knees, take your arms wide, everyone, and wrap yourself up like you've been caught. Help! 
He takes her back to the Star Killer base where he ties her up to a chair. Sitting on your bottoms, crossing your legs, and take your hands behind you, crisscrossing your fingers. Press your knuckles back down into the ground, opening your shoulders. Now Kylo Ren tries to use the Force to read Ray's mind so that he can see the map that BB-8 showed her. But Ray doesn't let him because Ray blocks him. She can use the Force as well. And Kylo Ren stomps off in a grump. Hmm. Then Ray uses the Force to tell the guard to untie her and leave the door open, which he does coming into door pose. Up onto two knees, everyone. Take your leg out to the side, your arm up to the sky, and open up the door. She escapes, and she closes the door behind her. Two knees, take your other leg out to the other side, reach your arm up to the sky, and close the door. Yes, she's free, coming up to stand. Now Han Solo, Chewbacca and Finn are rescued by Poe, the pilot. He's alive. Let's get into aeroplane pose, everyone. Down onto two knees, arms out to the side, drop down onto one side and wave at the sky. Bring your foot in front of your knee and shoot your back leg out behind you, going he takes them back to Princess Leia and the Resistance, where they all sit together, sitting on your bottoms. Together they make a plan to destroy the Starkiller base and to save Rey. While they're there, BB-8 finds a friend. It's R2-D2, Luke Skywalker's old droid. Let's come into our R2-D2 dog pose. Onto your hands and knees, everyone. Tuck your toes and lift your bottom up to the sky. The problem is R2-D2 has been frozen ever since Luke Skywalker disappeared. <laughs> Standing up, everyone. It's time. Han Solo, Chewbacca and Finn get back on board their spacecraft, the Millennium Falcon, coming into rocket pose. Standing with your feet wide, your arms wide, bring your hands above your head. Now slowly folding forwards, everyone. They silently float the Millennium Falcon down into the dock of the Star Killer base. As they stand up slowly, they find Ray! Yay! They're all back together again. Now they get to work planting explosives. Jump your feet together, folding all the way forwards to plant the explosives in all the low places. That's it. Now rolling all the way up. They reach up high to plant the explosives in all the high places. But all of a sudden, Han Solo sees someone that he knows. It's his son, Kylo Ren standing on a bridge, coming into bridge pose, sitting on your bottoms, feet flat, knees bent, hands behind you, and lift your bottom up. This is the moment. Han Solo must go and talk to his son. Standing up, everyone, he stands before him, and he begs him, please, son, come home. You don't belong in the dark side. Come back to your family. Kylo Ren takes his lightsaber and with tears in his eyes he stretches forwards like he's going to give it back to him but then at the last moment he switches it on he bends his knees and he thrusts it up into his father <gasps> standing up tall everyone lowering your arms all the way down turning to the side Han Solo falls from the bridge, rolling your head all the way down, folding yourself in half. No! And rolling all the way back up to stand. Chewbacca is so upset that he takes aim, stepping one foot to the side, one foot back, and bend your knee. Sweep your arms up and out. He fires. Pew! And he hits Kylo Ren. And then he sets off all the explosives in the Star Killer base. Ready to do a kaboom, everyone. Down into a crouch pose. After three, big kaboom jump. Ready? One, two, three, kaboom! Now the Resistance can destroy the Star Killer base. Standing all the way up, 
Kylo Ren, Rey and Finn climb up to the surface of the planet. Let's climb. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. Once they get to the top, they have a duel. But Finn can't defeat Kylo Ren. It's up to Rey. She takes one step forward, one step back, and she stretches her arms wide as she grabs the Luke Skywalker's lightsaber into her grip. She brings it into her heart and she switches it on. Then she takes her Jedi Warrior One pose, turning to the side, bending your front knee, and swoop your lightsaber up above your head. Kylo Ren runs in to attack her, but Rey opens up into her Jedi Warrior Two pose, and she defeats him. All of a sudden, the planet begins to crumble and crack. They need to escape, so they jump back on board the Millennium Falcon, jumping down to crouch. Ready? One. Two, three, boing! Now the Resistance celebrate the defeat of the First Order. But back home, Princess Leia on her knees, with Chewbacca and Rey put their hand on their tummy, their hand on their chest. They feel sad about the death of Han Solo. But as they rest here, R2-D2 suddenly wakes up, coming into your dog pose, everyone. Onto your hands and your knees, tuck your toes and lift your bottom up to the sky. He opens up his secret compartment, lifting up your leg all the way up to the sky and bending it over the top. And look, he's got the rest of the map, the map that will lead them to Luke Skywalker. Rolling up to stand, everyone, walking your hands back. Ray takes big steps across planet Aktu. Big step. And again, big step. Stepping back. She comes to the cave, standing with your feet wide and your hands above your head, where Luke Skywalker has been hiding. Then turning to the side, down on one knee, out of respect to the most senior Jedi, Luke Skywalker, Ray lifts and hands him back his lightsaber. Slowly lie yourself back now. Ray's mission is accomplished. We take our arms and our legs down long and we rest our bodies here. What an adventure. What a story. And from that story we learnt that real power lies not in fighting, but in how well we know ourselves and how well we understand others. We learn about ourselves by understanding what we're afraid of and learning ways to help ourselves when hard feelings come up. When we can breathe, we can be calm and we can focus exactly on what we need to do. That's where real power lies. So listen to your body. Steady your mind and the force will be strong in you. Slowly we wiggle our fingers, we wiggle our toes and we bring our knees into our chest as we give them a nice cuddle. We roll over onto our side and we push ourselves up to sit with our legs crossed just as we started and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Wow, well done everyone. Thanks for doing Star Wars The Force Awakens with me. You were amazing. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye.
I hope you enjoyed that. You were brilliant. Now it's time for a wonderful burst of energy to refresh our brains with a brilliant brain break. Today we're going to take a ride on a magic carpet so that we arrive at the next thing we're doing with a clear head. Our carpet is waiting for us, but it's hovering quite high up, so we reach up in flamingo pose to get it. Take one arm all the way up and bring your opposite foot up into your hand, seeing if you can bring your heel to your bottom. Ooh, try not to wobble. Now, we can't quite get it on that side, so let's try with the other side. Lowering your foot back down and your arm down, reach your other arm up and now see if you can catch hold of your other foot. Ooh, try not to wobble. Yes, uh, no, we still can't get it. So we put that foot down and we reach both hands up. Now, let's see if we can come high up onto our tippy tip toes. Oh, yep, yeah, that's got it. We've got it. Now we slowly lower our heels back down and bend our knees as we press the magic carpet all the way down to the ground, coming into a little squat position. That's better. Now take your knees outside of your arms and sit back on your bottom and spread your legs nice and wide. So we've got that magic carpet held in place. Oh, it's starting to take off. We take our arms out to the side to help ourselves balance. Now we're gonna steer this carpet. We take our arm down to one side and then we stretch our other arm up and over our ear, maybe resting on our elbow. Oh, we're going right round the corner now. Let's go round the other corner. So we come back into the middle, arms wide, and then we stretch down onto the other side, placing our hand down, our elbow down, and then lifting our top arm up and over our ear. Wow, this is so cool. We're really enjoying this little ride. We come back to the centre. I think we should try and go a bit faster, don't you? Take your arms behind you and then keep your chest nice and open as you slowly fold forwards. Maybe bringing your hands now in front of you, but keeping your chest open, your shoulders back. Maybe you come down onto your elbows. Maybe you take your chest all the way down to the ground. Wherever you are, pause here and breathe. We're going so fast. We walk our hands back and we're starting to get up into the clouds. We take our arms wide and we start to steer ourselves around and around, weaving in and out of the clouds. And we go the other way as well. Way! This is so much fun. We're coming high up into the sky where the air is so clear and fresh and slowly we come to stop as our magic carpet floats so easily we lie ourselves all the way back on it enjoying this lovely peaceful feeling of being carried in the fresh air our minds feel super clear our body feels calm and we feel ready for anything. We slowly come back up to sit and cross our legs, bringing our hands onto our knees. Our magic carpet has landed and so have we. Have a brilliant day, everyone. That was brilliant. Well done, you. Now we're going to get the wriggles out. We're going to use some energy with a really exciting game of super yoga. In super yoga, you copy the moves as they come down on the screen and you score points for doing the poses. And at the end, you get a lovely relaxation where all the goodness of the points goes into your body. I hope you love it. Super yoga.
Go. Butterfly Pose. was great well done you now let's get the volume turned up get ready to sing to dance and enjoy ourselves in the yoga disco hello everyone welcome to the cosmic kids yoga disco i'm jamie and this is your place for yoga dancing and lots of fun it's easy just copy the moves i do and enjoy the disco this one's called Washing Machine Asonga, where we do our washing machine move and our tumble dryer move. First you get into the groove, 
with the washing machine a move. Then you build up the fire as you blow your tumble dryer. Sit down and cross your legs and put your hands behind your head. Then twist from side to side. Let the rhythm be your guide. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Let's take it to our fingers. Make like a tumble dryer. Then you blow and blow and blow and see your fingers start to roll. Blow a roll a blow a roll a blow a roll a blow. Roll a blow. Blow a roll a blow a roll a blow a roll a blow. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Wish a wash a mamba. Wish a wash a samba. Wish a wash a rumba. Washing machine a song. Rolling with the limbo. Rolling to the beat of the bongo. Rolling with the mambo. Washing machine a song. Making my tummy stronger. Washing machine a song. Rumbly tumble dryer. Let's take the music high. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Blow a roll a blow a roll a blow a roll a blow. Everybody loves to dance and spin themselves around. Twisting side to side, we love the salsa sound. Washing machine a song a, washing machine a song a, rumbly tumble dryer. Now we all fall over. You were great. Well done, you. Now we have some yoga poses in the yoga pose universe for you to learn. It's great to become a master of these poses because when you come to do the adventures, you'll be amazing. I hope you love it. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Telephone pose. Coming to sit on our bottoms and taking our legs out nice and long in front of us. Now, ring, 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 ring. That's the telephone. Let's answer it. Taking hold of one of your feet and holding it up towards your ear. Hello, Cosmic Kids here. How can I help you? Hello, Jamie. How are you doing? Oh, hi. How are you? Yes, I'm very well. How are you? I'm fine, Oh, good, Hello, good. Hello, you like to are you? Oh, wonderful. Oh, well, yes, I'd love to come. That would be amazing. Oh, yes. Bye. Bye. Let's put the phone down. We've been invited to a party. Oh, but I forgot to ask when it is. We'd better ring them back again. Let's take hold of the other phone now and dial the number. Beep, boop, boop, beep, 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 beep. Now, telephone pose is very good for stretching our hamstrings and opening our hips. Oh, hi. Oh. Yeah, I forgot to ask, when is the party happening? It's tonight. Oh, tonight. Righty-ho, then. Better get a move on. See you later. Okay, Let's bye. put the phone down now. Putting the phone all the way forwards. This is so exciting. Better get my glad rags on. I think I'll wear my sparkly onesie. Telephone pose. All operators are busy at this time. If you'd like to leave a message, press 1. Your call is very important to us. If you'd like to leave a callback number, press 2. Thank you for calling. 